Welcome to Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis. My name is Jason Newland and please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. This podcast is available on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, uh, Apple Podcast. of other podcast hosts and it lives at Spreaker so Spreaker.com is where all my 34 podcasts are right, I'd just like to quickly say thank you to everybody for listening the audience is growing daily and at the moment downloads a month so this is one of my most popular podcasts and I just wanted to thank you for listening and I think this is number 81 or 82 number 8 yeah I think it is or is it 71 I don't know I think it's about 81 or 82 my intention is to make one of these every day. Now today, I'm a bit late. So, I try and do it maybe early hours of the morning. Or at least, you know, late morning or early afternoon. But it's half past four in the afternoon. So it's a lot later than what I normally do it. After saying that, I shall get on with the recording session. I'm going to just whisper about sleeping. And you can just drift off. And the thing is about listening to me maybe every day is hearing me is a trigger or can be a trigger to just drift off or an anchor switch and the way that works is it's actually a standard brain function because I don't know about you but I have a kind of a, a set routine certain aspects of my life when it comes to preparing food or getting ready for bed getting up in the morning or in my case usually late morning early afternoon but this is certain things that I do and I do them in a certain order as well which makes it easier to remember but in another way I'm not going to forget I'm not going to forget to go to the toilet I'm not going to forget to brush my teeth I'm not going to forget to make a cup of coffee and eat my breakfast those things I can't forget to do because I need to do them my body is telling me to go to the toilet. My mouth is telling me, clean me. 
and my stomach is telling me to eat. So the routine part is just a natural way to do it without thinking. It makes things a little bit easier. closed with 
This reminds me when someone said to me a while ago that he didn't, he 
struggled to trust people. And I said, you, tr you trust people all the time. He said, what do you mean? And I said, well, every time you get on a bus, you trust the bus driver. Every time you eat in a restaurant, you trust the chef. That's just two examples. We trust people all the time. Every time you drive a car out of a garage, you trust that it's being fixed properly and it's running properly. Every time we eat food out of a supermarket, we trust the supermarket that the food is good. full of trust yet the thing that we know we can trust the most more than anything else is our unconscious mind because that part of us loves us and protects us and will do anything and everything Make sure that you're safe. However, it listens to you. Your unconscious mind listens to what you say to yourself. And will sometimes take that as a command, as a request. to be a little bit careful what we say to ourselves for example if you lie down on your bed and you're thinking uh, I'm never I'm not going to sleep I'm not going to sleep I'm going to be awake all night your unconscious mind hears that and takes it as a command how oh, you want to stay awake all night because it doesn't think in logical terms it just does the things that are required of it doesn't understand negativity like negative talking doesn't understand what you don't want it needs to know what you do want the same way as being in a restaurant and the waiter comes up to you or the waitress and you go through everything that you don't want to eat, everything on the menu that you don't want. That waiter would get very confused. are the kind of words that we use to describe what 
what's going to happen. That's word for word what I've heard people say many times over the years. I'm so knackered when I, my head hits the pillow. I'm going to be off like a light. I'm going to be out like a light. expect it. They don't even necessarily want it. It's not that they want to fall asleep. They know absolutely 100% that there's nothing they could do to stay awake. Once they lay down and their head touches a pillow, the body gets heavy, the mind slows down. 